upon you and your families. Welcome to our channel, Embracing Ramadan, where we will be with you for the duration of this holy month. Scientific research suggests that fasting has many benefits on our physical well-being. But what about our mental well-being? Well, one of the greatest teachings of Ramadan on our well-being, mentally, is discipline. How so? Well, even reaching out for a simple cup of water becomes permissible only after Allah lets us, through the call of Azan. Now, join me to see what other benefits we can gain from Ramadan and fasting. Ya Jameel, Ya Allah, Ya Qareeb, Ya Allah, Ya Mujib, Ya Allah, Ya Habib, Ya Allah, Ya Ra'uf, Ya Allah, Ya Atuf, Ya Allah, Ya Ma'roof, Ya Allah, Ya Latif, Ya Allah, يا عظيم يا الله يا حنان يا الله يا منان يا الله يا ديان يا الله يا سبحان يا الله يا أمان يا الله يا برهان يا الله يا سلطان يا الله يا مستعان يا الله يا محسن يا الله يا متعال يا الله يا رحمن يا الله يا رحيم يا الله يا كريم يا الله يا مجيد يا الله يا فرد يا الله يا وتر يا الله يا أحد يا الله يا صمد يا الله يا محمود يا الله يا صادق الوعد يا الله يا علي يا الله يا غني يا الله يا شافي يا الله يا كافي يا الله يا معافي يا الله يا باقي يا الله يا هادي يا الله يا قادر يا الله يا ساتر يا الله يا قهار يا الله يا جبار يا الله يا غفار يا الله يا فتاح يا الله بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم والنازعات غرقا والناشطات نشطا والسابحات سبحا فالسابقات سبقا فالمدبرات امرا يوم ترجف الراجفه تتبعها الرادفه قلوب يومئذ واجفه ابصارها خاشعه يقولون أئنا لمردودون في الحافرة أئذا كنا عظاما نخرة قالوا تلك إذا كرة خاسرة فإنما هي زجرة واحدة فإذا هو بالساهرة هل أتاك حديث موسى إذ ناداه ربه بالواد المقدس طوى اذهب إلى فرعون إنه طغى فقل هل لك إلى أن تزكى وأهديك إلى ربك فتخشى فأراه الآية الكبرى فكذب وعصى 
ثم أدبر يسعى فحشر فنادى فقال أنا ربكم الأعلى فأخذه الله نكال الآخرة والأولى إن في ذلك لعبرة لمن يخشى أأنتم أشد خلقا أم السماء بناها رفع سمكها فسواها وأغطش ليلها وأخرج ضحاها والأرض بعد ذلك دحاها أخرج منها ماءها ومرعاها والجبال أرساها متاعا لكم ولأنعامكم فإذا جاءت الطامة الكبرى يوم يتذكر الإنسان ما سعى وبرزت الجحيم لمن يرى فأما من طغى وآثر الحياة الدنيا فإن الجحيم هي المأوى وأما من خاف مقام ربه ونهى النفس عن الهوى فإن الجنة هي المأوى يسألونك عن الساعة أيان مرساها فيما أنت من ذكراها إلى ربك منتهاها إنما أنت منذر من يخشاها كأنهم يوم يرونها لم يلبثوا إلا عشية أو ضحاها صدق الله العظيم
بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم يا من تواضع كل شيء لعظمته يا من استسلم كل شيء لقدرته يا من ذل كل شيء لعزته يا من خضع كل شيء لهيبته يا من انقاد كل شيء لملكته يا من دان كل شيء من مخافته يا من انشقت الجبال من خشيته يا من قامت السماوات بأمره يا من استقرت الأرض بإذنه يا من لا يعتدي على أهل مملكته سبحانك يا لا إله إلا أنت الأمان الأمان خلصنا من النار يا غافر الخطايا يا كاشف البلايا يا منتهى الرجايا يا مجزل العطايا يا واسع الهدايا يا رازق البرايا يا قاضي المنايا يا سامع الشكايا يا باعث السرايا يا مطلق الأسارى سبحانك يا لا إله إلا أنت الأمان الأمان خلصنا من النار يا ذا الحمد والثناء يا ذا المجد والسناء يا ذا الفخر والبهاء يا ذا العهد والوفاء يا ذا العفو والرضاء يا ذا المن والعطاء يا ذا الفصل والقضاء يا ذا العزة والبقاء يا ذا الجود والنعماء يا ذا الفضل والآلاء سبحانك يا لا إله إلا أنت الأمان الأمان خلصنا من النار وأسألك بأسمائك يا مانع يا دافع يا نافع يا سامع يا رافع يا صانع يا شافع يا جامع يا واسع يا موسع سبحانك يا لا إله إلا أنت الأمان الأمان خلصنا من النار يا صانع كل مصنوع يا خالق كل مخلوق يا رازق كل مرزوق يا مالك كل مملوك يا كاشف كل مكروب يا فارج كل مغموم يا راحم كل مرحوم يا ناصر كل مخذول يا ساتر كل معيوب يا ملجأ كل مظلوم سبحانك يا لا إله إلا أنت الأمان الأمان خلصنا من النار We are having blessed times, or more than billions of Muslims around the world are fasting. Ramadan is a time not only for fasting. Ramadan is a time to focus your attention on giving to charity. We have Mr. Fraz Aziz today. Welcome Mr. Fraz Aziz. Thank you. Mr. Fraz Aziz is a special project manager for Muslim Welfare Center. So we are going to talk about the Ramadan issue. So I think this time of the year is one of the busiest time for you. Definitely. So how do you manage it? 
Alhamdulillah, one day at a time. SubhanAllah. As, as we know, these are the blessed days and nights of Ramadan, mashaAllah, and the rewards are multiplied. And so the hearts of the Muslims are softened in this month. And so they're very generous. You know, charity is a very important part of, of the month of Ramadan. Compassion, and giving, and kindness. And so as a local charity, a grassroots charity uh, here in the east end of Scarborough in Toronto, uh, we count on the generosity of Muslims and non-Muslims. But especially at this time of year, the generosity of Muslims is, is, uh, is something that we count on. And in that regard, we're incredibly busy, mashallah. Mm -hmm. So how do you get prepared for Ramadan? Well, it starts uh, quite, quite early. So we have been here at the Muslim Welfare Center. We have been preparing Ramadan since the beginning of the year because we have many programs that happen throughout the year, but especially in Ramadan, we have a lot of interest in the program. So our preparations start very early, mashallah. So as far as I know, you have Ramadan projects. So what's the story behind it? So when did you start? So we have many programs in Ramadan, but I guess the one that most people talk about is Project Ramadan. Project Ramadan is a, a program that started back in 2009. Uh, it was started by a group of young it's people. Nine years. Yeah, it's been actually celebrated 10 years already, mashallah. We're into our 11th year. And really a group of volunteers at that time, they saw the need in the community. And they wanted to do something. And they approached the Muslim Welfare Center to do something with the charity. And the idea was to build food hampers for families in need and use the Muslim Welfare Center distribution to be able to distribute these food hampers in 2009. So what other projects you have as a Muslim Welfare Center here? So the one thing you need to know, mashallah, the Muslim Welfare Center is focused a lot of our programming on food insecurity. As you know, food insecurity is rampant across our communities, across our country, and across the world. And alhamdulillah, for 26 years, the Muslim Welfare Center has built a lot of programs focused on providing you know, uh, relief, if you will, to people who are homeless, who are, who are hungry, people who are facing poverty. And so we have many programs, mashallah. Of course, we have food banks. Most people know the Muslim Welfare Center for food banks. We run a food bank in Scarborough, and we run a food bank in Mississauga, initially. And these will serve thousands of families in the month of Ramadan and throughout the year. But mashallah, we also started back in 2015, the Arctic Food Bank. As many people know in Canada, the indigenous community, uh, the First Nations community is in very, very bad shape. And alhamdulillah, the Muslim Welfare Center since 2015 has been running food programs that are focused on this community. So the Arctic Food Bank operates in Inuvik, Northwest Territories, that's like 7,000 kilometers <laughs> north of us, and in Ikalo, which is, uh, which is just a couple hours uh, flight away from us. So these two locations, we run the Arctic Food Bank and we're helping the Canada's First Nation people in the north. So food banks, we're very, mashallah, we've been doing that for a very long time. That's just one of the programs. From the food bank, we do Meals on Wheels programs. So every Saturday in Toronto, we deliver lunches to the homeless and the needy. Every Sunday in Hamilton, we deliver lunches to the homeless and needy. Every Tuesday and Friday, we deliver hot lunches to the doorsteps of seniors in need. So well over 200 seniors in need twice weekly benefited from hot lunch programs. And we run restaurants. You know, today we are here in Malvern where we run a restaurant every Wednesday at the Community Health Center, Taibu, with other agencies. We'll serve over 200 meals. Every Sunday in Regent Park, we run a restaurant at the Christian Resource Center. You know, Regent Park is a community in need. And we'll serve over 400 meals every Sunday. And we have a Meals on Wheels service on Sunday for seniors in need, where we deliver to their doorstep. So for this project, I think you are collaborating with other institutions also too, with non-Muslim organizations also too. So in, in, in uh, Malvern, alhamdulillah, in the Malvern East, a Wednesday lunch program, we work with five other agencies, including the Taibu Community Health Center, the 42 Division Toronto Police, uh, the Malvern Food Bank, Malvern Presbyterian, and the One Love. So Muslim Welfare Center working with non-Muslim agencies, mashallah, to provide uh, food for the community in need. And alhamdulillah, everybody's eating halal. Yeah, mashallah. So we'll talk about your charity works later on. We'll be back. Stay tuned. Ya Jamil, Ya Allah, Ya Qareeb, Ya Allah, Ya Mujib, Ya Allah, Ya Habib, Ya Allah. يا رؤوف يا الله يا عطوف يا الله يا معروف يا الله يا لطيف يا الله
يا عظيم يا الله يا حنان يا الله يا منان يا الله يا ديان يا الله يا سبحان يا الله يا أمان يا الله يا برهان يا الله يا سلطان يا الله يا مستعان يا الله يا محسن يا الله يا متعال يا الله يا رحمن يا الله يا رحيم يا الله يا كريم يا الله يا مجيد يا الله يا فرد يا الله يا وتر يا الله يا أحد يا الله يا صمد يا الله يا محمود يا الله يا صادق الوعد يا الله يا علي يا الله يا غني يا الله يا شافي يا الله يا كافي يا الله يا معافي يا الله يا باقي يا الله يا هادي يا الله يا قادر يا الله يا ساتر يا الله يا قهار يا الله يا جبار يا الله يا غفار يا الله يا فتاح يا الله We are back. And Mr. Aziz, so let's talk about another issues with you. Muslims are reminded to be generous and increase their charitable activities during Ramadan. It's more rewarded than in other times. So what's the result? Well, I think, uh, you know, here in, here in Canada, and especially in the western part, uh, Muslims tend to be extremely generous in Ramadan. Not only generous with their money, but they're generous with their time and their resources. So I could definitely say that as a small charity, the month of Ramadan is very important to us because this is when most Muslims tend to give their zakah, their sadaqah, their fitra, their fidya, and we, mashallah, we count on that. So definitely there's an impact. We see a lot more interest, we see a lot more uh, donation, a lot of people want to spend the month of Ramadan in helping out in our programs, and alhamdulillah we've been able to do that in our, our, our restaurants, in our hanchalat programs, in our Meals on Wheels, in all of our programming, especially in the month, we see a lot of interest from the Muslim community. We believe that giving to charity is more rewarded than in other times. So what would be your suggestions to Muslim about giving charity? So first of all, we know that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the most generous. <laughs> and Allah is generous at all times. And I think as Muslims, we need to realize that yes, the month of Ramadan has extra reward, right? I mean, you do a charity deed, it's rewarded as though a sadaqah deed is rewarded as though it's, it's a farm and so on and so forth. But Muslims should understand that there is a need every day of the year. And so, of course, our suggestion, you know, as a community and as a small charity, is that every single day of the year, there are people who are in need. So when we give in Ramadan, mashallah, that's wonderful. But outside of Ramadan, we need to continue giving. And so the benefits of Ramadan, you know, the compassion, the love, the charity, the kindness, this must extend throughout the life, not just in Ramadan. So of course, a charity survives on your generosity throughout the year. So we encourage Muslims to continue giving, continue being engaged, continue volunteering your time and your efforts throughout the month. And Alhamdulillah, we have an organization, we have many organizations in our community who can benefit from this, inshallah. We are joined by Mr. Firaz Aziz, another guest with a different topic in the shade of the Ramadan. See you tomorrow. Thank <laughs> you.
بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين والآقبة للمتقين والصلاة والسلام على سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وأصحابه أجمعين اللهم ربنا أتنا في الدنيا حسنة وفي الآخرة حسنة وقنا عذاب النار وربنا ظلمنا أنفسنا وإن لم تغفر لنا وترحمنا لنكونن من الخاسرين وربنا لا تزغ قلوبنا بعد إذ هديتنا وهب لنا من لدنك رحمة إنك أنت الوهاب ربنا لا تؤاخذنا ان نسينا او اخطانا ربنا ولا تحمل علينا اصرا كما حملته على الذين من قبلنا ربنا ولا تحملنا ما لا طاقه لنا به واعف عنا واغفر لنا وارحمنا انت مولانا فانصرنا على القوم الكافرين اللهم يا مسرف القلوب صرف قلوبنا على طاعتك اللهم يا مقلب القلوب ثبت قلوبنا على دينك اللهم لا تحرمنا خير ما عندك لشر ما عندنا يا أرحم الراحمين اللهم إنا نسألك علما نافعا ورزقا واسعا وشفاء من كل داء اللهم إنا نعوذ بك من الهم والحزن ونعوذ بك من الأجز والكسل ونعوذ بك من الجبن والبخل ونعوذ بك من غلبة الدين وقهر الرجال اللهم إنا نسألك فعل الخيرات وترك المنكر وحب المساكين وأن تغفر لنا وترحمنا وإذا أردت فتنة في قوم فتوفنا إليك غير مفتون ونسألك حبك وحب من يحبك وحب عمل يقربنا إلى حبك رضينا بالله ربا وبالإسلام دينا وبسيدنا محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم نبيا ورسولا اللهم إنا نعوذ بك من البرص والجنون والجذام وسيء الأسقام وزلع الدين اللهم اغفني بحلالك عن حرامك وأغلني بفضلك عمن سواك اللهم اغفنا بحلالك عن حرامك وأغلنا بفضلك عمن سواك اللهم لا مانع لما عطيت ولا معتي لما منعت ولا راد لما قضيت ولا ينفع ذا الجد منك الجد اللهم لا تدع لنا ذنبا إلا غفرته ولا هما إلا فروجته ولا دينا إلا قضيته ولا مريضا إلا شفيته ولا حاجة من حوائج الدنيا والآخرة هي لك رضا إلا قضيتها يا أرحم الراحمين اللهم اجعلنا ممن غفرت لهم في شهر رمضان اللهم اجعلنا ممن رحمت لهم في شهر رمضان اللهم إنا نعوذ بك من البرس والجنون والجذام وسيء الأسقام اللهم إنك عفو كريم تحب العفو فعف أن يا كريم اللهم التف أمة محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم اللهم فرج عن أمة سيدنا محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم اللهم ارحم أمة سيدنا محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم اللهم إنك عفو كريم تحب العفو فعف أن يا كريم اللهم إنك عفو كريم تحب العفو فعف أن يا كريم اللهم ربنا تقبل منا إنك أنت السميع العليم وتب علينا يا مولانا إنك أنت التواب الرحيم اللهم صلِّ وسلِّ وبارك على سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وأصحابه أجمعين برحمةك يا أرحم الراحمين Oh Allah, please forgive us. Oh Allah, please forgive our shortcomings. Ya Allah, the month of Ramadan, Ya Allah, has been started. Ya Allah, we 
accept our sins, Ya Allah. We accept that the way that we have spent our life in the sinful life, Ya Allah. Please forgive us, Ya Allah. Please forgive us whatever has been gone. Ya Allah, please forgive us, Ya Allah. Ya Allah, please forgive the whole Ummah of Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Ya Allah, please forgive the whole Ummah of Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Ya Allah, accept our good deeds in the month of Ramadan. Ya Allah, accept our charity. Ya Allah, accept our Salah. Ya Allah, accept our Salatu Tarawi. Ya Allah, accept the Qiyamul Layl. Ya Allah, accept the Qiyamul Layl. Allahumma Rabbana taqabbal minna innaka anta samiyun alim. Wa tub alina ya Mawlana innaka anta tawabur rahim. Allahumma salli wa sallim wa barik ala Sayyidina Muhammadin wa ala alihi wa sahabihi ajma'in bi rahmatika ya arhamur rahim. Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar. أشهد أن لا إله إلا الله أشهد أن لا إله إلا الله أشهد أن محمد الرسول الله أشهد أن محمد الرسول الله محمد الرسول الله صلى الله تعالى عليه وسلم اللهم رب هذه الدعوة التامة والصلاة القائمة آت سيدنا محمد الوسيلة والفضيلة والدرجة الرفيعة وابعثه مقاما محمودا الذي وعدته إنك لا تخلف الميعاد. Ramadan 2019 is here. Join us on our YouTube channel, Embracing Ramadan, for 30 days of learning and observing. Let's benefit from the mercy of this holy month together. <laughs>